Hey, this is Steve Jacobson, and today I want to show you what's going on in my greenhouse here. It's a geodesic dome greenhouse, and um, it actually has all the plastic rolled up, or a good percentage of the plastic rolled up, so that airflow can go through there. And what I want to do is show you what's growing on in the greenhouse and take a look at uh, the beds and what I'm actually planting and that type of stuff. So let's go into the greenhouse right now. All right, so I'm in the greenhouse here and I've got several raised beds, uh, some higher, some lower, and I wanted to show you what I've planted in the greenhouse. And a lot of these things were recently moved into the greenhouse um, as far as raised beds and that type of stuff but uh, I'm going to actually show you each one of these beds really quickly and I hope you enjoy what is in here. All right, one of the first uh, areas I want to show you is a Jenny Kiwi plant and this plant is uh, pretty awesome. It really kind of rocks when it comes to uh, producing a full-size kiwi in an environment where um, it can go from zone 3 to zone 10 which is really unusual for a kiwi plant in this area. Just to get a little closer on this, it's really cool because it has these uh, fuzzy little pink uh, hairs on this type of plant and it actually grows really quickly so it may not produce kiwi this year but it definitely will next year. Right here is pretty much my kale bed uh, with a few peppers mixed in and the kale right here is actually tree kale. This one right here is supposed to get absolutely huge and really excited to see if this will produce something that big and some of the other kale in here, almost all of these kale, came from seeds from a place called Plant Abundance on YouTube. And the guy actually rocks. He does such quality videos. And I just want to give him a little uh, pump for that because, man, um, these are great kale plants. So I put a few sunflowers in here and the sunflowers are actually starting to develop down here and they are titan sunflowers and they are quite a large variety so I'm excited about those and I also have some other types of sun sunflowers that are a little bit smaller but they are really cool and they almost look like comets when they get big. Here we have some cilantro and the cilantro needs to be cut back because it's uh, going to seed a little bit. But when you look into the bed, uh, there's a lot of lettuce surrounding it as well. And got a few different varieties here. And some babies that are just starting out. So I should have a really good selection of uh, greens here. So right here, I actually have a goji berry plant, and it is doing quite well. Uh, it has a little bit of yellowing in the leaves, but this thing has really taken off, and I think I'll get a good crop of gojis. And there's some stalks here that are actually going pretty nuts, and will probably get pretty high. But if you've never tried goji berries, uh, I would give it a try because they're pretty satisfying as to how fast they can produce gojis in one or two years. And I put this in a fire ring and it allowed me to have a little bit better soil in here as well. And then I dug down um, on one of those videos, I think it's from the Michigan Gardener, and he had a really good idea about how to make the goji berries flourish. So I got this bin from Home Depot and it is pretty cool. I wanted to do a raised bed 
and put a few tomatoes in here and I did like a hugel culture type bed in the bottom where I put all kinds of sticks and straw and grass clippings and that type of thing to raise it up high enough where I didn't have to worry about bending over too much so I'm really excited about what this is going to do it also has strings that goes up uh, several feet almost I would say about nine to ten feet here and hopefully the tomatoes will climb right up there they did in my tomato greenhouse in the smaller greenhouse last year so last year I actually sent away for some small mulberry bushes and I guess they top off at about four feet high this has grown a little bit bigger but it's an investment in time and this should do pretty good uh, maybe next year or the year after but it's a pretty cool little bush so this raised bed here actually came from my main garden that is getting filled with actually a ton of morning glories and it's been really hard to control them so I actually uh, built this bed here took a lot of the soil over and screened a lot of uh, the morning glories out of here so um, I can do some damage control and actually have hardly any morning glories going all through my garden um, it took a while to actually put the soil back in here but I think it is looking pretty good here so this is one of my smaller beds here and I also moved this from my garden area and I put a lot of strings up here uh, that go up pretty high and that's so that I could grow cucumbers going up these leader strings and hopefully get a nice uh, crop of uh, cucumbers down here I have a lot of tomatoes that are hopefully going to climb up and um, I also have some beefsteak tomatoes in here now those may not get as tall as some of these other varieties I have but I have a lot of grape tomatoes and that type of thing uh, that are actually going to be climbing up so they will really take advantage of the height here and I may actually have to get up here and pick them uh, the tomatoes actually by getting on a ladder so down here I actually have a bunch of basil and I want to make a lot of stuff with basil this uh, summer I just love basil it's one of those really fragrant herbs and uh, yeah I cannot wait for that okay so this small raised bed here is basically going to be used for my scarlet runner beans now this actually looks a little bit weedy but I'm waiting for a lot of the seeds that are actually come up to get kind of uh, older so that I can pluck up some of this grass better so I have a lot of arugula coming up here and supposedly I have parsley over here now the parsley is mixed in with a lot of grass so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to pick through the weeds on this raised bed and actually um, get it all set but it will happen I have some really cool scarlet runner beans that are actually coming up here and they don't have the typical dark green leaves they have kind of a lime color leaf that you can see that's actually coming up and it'll produce these bright red flowers that uh, hummingbirds really like and I also have some little cardoon plants never have planted that I don't really know much about them but it'll be exciting to actually see them come up and my friend Rob Farmer he is awesome he has a great channel um, and also uh, Shana as well and It'll be fun to actually see if these do well. So in this bed I actually have zucchini. I have several plants on this side and I've been thinning them out 
and it looks like they're uh, taking off pretty well. So in just a few weeks, these should be gigantic plants. And I also have some eggplant that I've planted and it'll be pretty cool to uh, see those come up, but they're pretty much standard um, eggplant. And I've got another variety here of sweet Italian peppers. So I hope those take off as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the little tour of my greenhouse here. And I'm actually going to be putting in a little tiny fish pond as well. And hopefully um, get like a solar pump to actually make the water flow inside here. So that's one of my next projects that I'm going to do. And I'm going to be posting what the development of all of this looks like as the uh, summer goes on. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you check into my channel True Health. And uh, my name is Steve Jacobson and I hope to see you soon. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to hit like and subscribe. See you soon.